I love summer fruits and baking with them is one of my favorite ways to enjoy them. These summer fruit bars are pretty much like a pie and a cookie all in one. Stick around, I'll show you how they're made. It's best to take advantage of summer fruits when they're at their peak. However, with most things, some fruits are available year round. But for me, if I can get seasonal fruits when they're at the ripest, that's when I wanna have them. This recipe was inspired by a friend who came to me with a bunch of overly ripe fruit, asking for help with a crumble. I made it and then I thought maybe I wanna make my own, but instead of more of a bar, instead of a crumble or a cobbler, I much prefer a crumble over a cobbler anyway. I would recommend getting very firm fruit if you're using them for this recipe and then use them right away. Not to let them get too ripe as they'll be challenging to slice because you have to slice them thinly for this recipe. Starting with the crust and the crumble, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius. Spray in line with parchment paper and spray again an eight inch or a nine inch baking pan. By spraying the parchment paper, pretty much guarantees whatever I put in there is gonna come out. Set this aside while you make the crumble. In a medium sized bowl, whisk together the melted butter, sugar, brown sugar, lemon zest, and vanilla. And then set this aside. In a medium bowl, whisk together the flour, baking soda, salt, and cinnamon. Add in the melted butter mixture and fold to combine. This will be a very dry dough. Reserve about three quarters of a cup or 100 grams of the dough and place this in the fridge to chill for later. Press the remaining dough into the prepared baking pan, using your fingers or the bottom of a measuring cup to level it out. for 14 to 16 minutes until lightly golden and set. Transfer the pan to a wire rack and cool for about 15 minutes while you prepare the fruit. Cut the fruit in half and then remove the stone. And then you'll want to start slicing the fruit into like one quarter inch thick slices. 
Sprinkle a little bit of the lemon juice over the top. This prevents the fruit from browning before you bake it. Combine the sugar, salt, and cornstarch in a large bowl. Add in the fruit along with the lemon zest and toss to coat. Spoon this over the crust into an even layer. Dot with the blackberries if you're using them. Using the chilled crumble, break this apart and sprinkle it over the fruit. It won't cover everything, it'll just make a nice thin coating over the top. Bake for 40 to 50 minutes until the crumble is golden and the fruit is bubbly. Cool completely in the pan, and then before cutting it, place it in the freezer for about 10 minutes. This makes it easier to cut. Then carefully lift the parchment paper and place it on a cutting board and slice away. There's no beating the sweet and tart flavors of peaches and plums. Having this to enjoy all summer long is one of the best ways that I'm certainly going to be making this again. Mm. Just a little hint of cinnamon works perfectly with the peaches and the, net, and the, the plums. And that crumble on top, mm, really good. If you make this, please leave me a comment below. Let me know how it turned out. Thanks again for watching and enjoy. Mm, so good. <laughs>